In this video, I'll show you how you can add Google Web Stories on your website to make it look like you have added Instagram Stories or maybe Facebook Stories on your websites. Coming up. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos related to WordPress, social media marketing and search engine optimization. So if you are interested in watching content like this, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. So in the last video, we have seen how we can create Google Web Stories using WordPress plugin. If you have not seen that video, make sure you go ahead and watch that in the i button above, right above my head. I'm sure you will find it helpful. And in this video, I'll show you how you can add those Google Web Stories on your website, which will look like this, which looks very much similar to Facebook stories or maybe Instagram stories. You can play around with the layout. And along with that, I will also show you how you can create a dedicated page where you can show all your Google web stories. So this will act like a mini version of your websites where your visitors can go ahead and watch your Google web stories. And of course, these pages and these Google web stories will be searchable in Google. So let's see how it is done. So to create a section like this where we will showcase the latest Google web stories on our home page, we need to edit this home page and add a new section which we will be creating by using element or theme builder. And if you are a WordPress user, then I'm sure you must be knowing about Elementor Theme Builder and how you can do some cool stuff using Elementor. And if you want to learn more about this Elementor page builder, I leave a link in the description below. You can go ahead and check their website. And if you wish, you can go ahead and buy a pro version of Elementor. And if you use the link in the description, it will give us a little bit of share from your purchase. And this will help this channel to create content like this. And along with that, if you do purchase Elementor from the link in the description, I will send you the section template that we will create today on our home page as well as on the complete page here we will be showing web stories and i will send both of these templates to you just to say you a thank you from my end so let's go ahead and edit the home page and add these story blocks on our website so we will go in the elementor editor and edit this page so now we are in the editing mode of elementor so we will go ahead and add a section below this one I'll just go ahead and create a new section below this just to show you how the things work. So we will add a new section with a single column and here we will give it a fixed width of 700 pixel. We want to keep it small because we are more concentrated on mobile users so that whenever they land on website, they only see the fixed width of these story block. We will be just showing four stories on home page. So we will go with 700 width and now we will add post widget which will show all the posts of our website on this section all right so now you can see that it is showing all the posts of our website so we go ahead and first of all change the query from post to show stories and now it's showing only the stories of our website so we have created four stories as of now and it's showing only four of them so let's go ahead and change the design a bit. We will keep the skin as classic. We will keep the column as four. So there will be four stories in a row. And we only want four stories in this section. So we will keep it post per page as four. So it will only show four stories here. And image will be on top image size we will choose web story poster portrait so it will be a kind of a vertical image so now let's go ahead and change the image ratio all right so we will keep the image a little small now we go ahead and hide those these extra details and the metadata also we will hide the read more button we don't need it and now let's go ahead and change some CSS styles. We will align everything to center. We will reduce the column gap a bit. No, that's too much. 
All right, let's go ahead and change the font size of these stories. So we'll keep it as 11 pixel and the font weight will be normal. For that, we will change the image settings. We will add a little border around the image. So maybe 9 pixel would be good. We will reduce the spacing so that we can have the text very close to the image. So we will reduce the image a bit more and let's increase the height a bit. I think in my design I have width as 600 pixel. Yes, it's 600. So we'll go ahead and change it to 600. Or maybe you can keep it 700 or maybe a full width as per your preference. So this is how simple it is to add Google Web Stories on your homepage as if you are showing Facebook Stories or Instagram Stories. And I'm sure it will be a surprise for your visitors to see Stories on your website. And personally, I would prefer to add this Story block in the header of my website so that it will be visible on every page. So this is how we add it on homepage. Now I just go ahead and remove it and let me show you how it's working on live website you can see we have a block of later stories let's go ahead and click on any one of them and it will start scrolling the story here all right once we go back we come back to our home page with the story blocks and if you want you can just go ahead and read another one and it will start scrolling normally as a story pages. So this is how we add the story block on home page. And now I'll show you how you can create a dedicated page where you can show all your Google web stories on a single page so that it will look like a mini website inside your original website just to give a unique look to our website. So let's go ahead and see how it is done. So to create this dedicated page to showcase all the Google Web Stories on our website, I have created a web page, named it as Web Stories and the URL will be also Web Stories so that it will be like your website address and forward slash Web Stories or maybe you can give any URL you like. Just make sure you do not name it Stories because it's been already used by the Google Web Story plugin. Now let's go back in Elementor Editor and create this section where we will showcase all the Web Stories on our single page. So we will edit it with Elementor. Alright, so here is our page. We already have the Stories listed here. We, all, we only have four Stories created on this website. So that's why it's showing four Stories here. Let me just go ahead and close this section and let's start creating this page from scratch. So we'll go with one column layout. And if you want, you can start this page as Elementor Canvas, a completely blank layout. So it will give a dedicated blank page so that you can create a mini website dedicated only for web stories. But I would prefer to have header here. So I'll go with the normal layout. So now we have one column layout here. Let's go ahead and add some gap on top and bottom. So I'll add margin 50 on top and bottom. And then we'll just go ahead and add a widget posts, which will again bring up all the posts on our website. And again, we will go query, select stories. And now we only have stories listed here. Let's go back to layout. We will this time choose cards to give it a little more advanced look. And once again, we will choose columns. Post per page, you can increase it to any number because on this page, you will be showing many stories as we go on creating them on our website. Image size again, we will choose poster portrait. This poster is actually the featured image which we have used while creating these Google Web Stories using that plugin. So we will increase the image ratio and we'll hide the metadata here. Just go ahead and play around with all the settings and you can create your own layout. And I'll also hide read more. I'll hide the badge. I'll keep the avatar here. And in the style, I will align everything to center. Let's go ahead and change the content typography. I'll change it to 20 pixel for desktop and for mobile I will keep it to maybe 16 and honestly that's it. That's all you have to do to 
to showcase all the web stories on your website on a dedicated page and you can use it as a mini website. Let's go ahead and check how it looks on mobile. So I'll switch it on mobile version. Let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and do some changes here. In the mobile as well, I would prefer to have two column layout. And let's go ahead and increase the image ratio. And for the content, I will, I think, reduce the font a bit. Four. And we can play around with the spacing here. In the image, we'll reduce the spacing. And we'll also add a size to our avatar image. A little bit big. I think this one is enough. In the card, we will also change the horizontal paddings. And I think I will also increase the rounded corners a bit. So let's go back to desktop. So let's go ahead and add some more ra border radius. I think I will add it to 10. So this one looks much better. Let's go ahead and update it all. And now if we go back and refresh our web stories page. Here is our dedicated page showcasing all our web stories on a single page and acting as a mini website. You can add a link of this page to the menu so that people can go around and enjoy the web stories and actually read the content in a short form and that's the whole purpose of these Google web stories. So this is how you can add these Google web stories on your website, maybe on the home page or maybe as a dedicated page and all thanks to Elementor Theme Builder for making this template creation work so easy. And if you want to check Elementor, the link is in the description below. Please feel free to check that link. And if in case you buy the Elementor Pro version from the link in the description, just let me know in the comments and I'll send you the templates that we have just created. So that will be a little bit easier for you to create the same things on your website. Now, I was actually planning to add few more things in this video, but will but this will extend the length of this video too much. So in the next video, I'll show you more about these Google web stories and I'll show you the other ways by which you can create these Google web stories on your website. And we will also discuss about the pros and cons of other third party plugins that helps you create Google web stories on your website. And we will also check which one is actually the best one in the market. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.